All right, good morning. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can work with Mac OS X and actually do some navigation of that, the operating system, how to do some stuff we'll do using with Mac OS as we do a programming class here at CTEC. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to talk about the Finder. Finder is the um, operating systems tool for working um, and looking at files and folders and getting access to it. You can access Finder just by clicking on anywhere that's blank on your desktop like I just did right here, and you just go to Command N. I'll bring up a finder window like this, as you can see right here. And in the finder window, you can see we've got a sidebar right here of information. We have, in, I'm currently in my applications directory. You can see all the applications that go with that. As you can see, that that's information right there. Um, when we're in finder, we're going to use this to go and navigate through different things. On the sidebar, I can do a quick link to any of the folders I have specified in that area. So I can actually just grab those ones right there. And so that's the easy way to do that. Um, the icon for a finder, if you look over here in the dock, it's this cute little double face right here that we see right there. And we'll see that on a regular basis as well. So, I mean, it's, a, it's an old Mac symbol. We've been seeing it a lot over here. But that's a big thing with that. When we're doing navigation, we just can click on link right here. Um, you have this top bar up here, which is uh, tells you where you're at currently. And you have right here, you can choose how you're going to be looking at that. I prefer using the list style. Some people do like the column structure. The column structure, as you can see right here, if I go and I find a folder in my documents folder, I change that to, uh, to columns. I can go and I can click on the Adobe folder, and then in Adobe there's Premiere Pro folder, is in the 13. We can go from that. Um, I, however, do prefer the list style because I can just drill down from that by using the drop down menu right here. And that also allows me to easily do sorting of information like that, which is really helpful, especially when you're trying to find information that's recent or something like that. So that's the way I prefer to use that, is using the list style like this. Gallery is really only useful, I think, if you're working with like a folder that only has images, which is not what I'm doing as a computer scientist most of the time. So that's where that there. Um, one of the really helpful things right here is the uh, path view. So if I go up here into the view on the drop down menu, and I had um, show the path bar. I can obviously hide the path bar and make that go away, but that's not very useful. I want to have that shown. That path bar there is probably one of the most important things to have available. You can see where you are inside your navigation system and you actually keep track of that right there. Um, you notice right here I have my home directory. Um, in this case, it says Cody Henriksen because that's my home location. That's where my um, all my uh, local information for this user currently on the machine is. And that's a great one to have access to. And your home directory is where you're going to have your personal information from that. We can see that shows up by going to our finder preferences. And so to get preferences in most um, Mac-based applications, it's going to be either the command comma keystroke sequence, like that, that can pull up the preferences, or if you go to the application on the top left of the menu bar and then go down to preferences, you can see it has command comma listed right there. So in Finder Preferences, the first things we want to make sure we have, on the general section, we definitely want to have our external disks and uh, CDs or DVDs show up on our um, desktop because it makes it very easy to find them. We go over to um, Tags. I don't use that very often with that. Sidebar, however, this is where you can choose which things you want to have seen and have available for you. And so you definitely want to have your home lo location uh, listed right there. You definitely want to have hard disks right there. And then in this section right here, this is totally up to you. I use um, AirDrop on a regular basis, applications, desktop documents, downloads, definitely. Um, Recents is great for seeing recent documents. Um, my movies is where I show the, uh, store all the raw video that I'm working with. So it's not actually like little fun videos, unfortunately. But that might be one that's useful for you as well. Make sure you have a checkbox in your hard disk and an external disk because those are things you'll be using on a regular basis. And then in computer science land, one of the things we really want to do is we want to see which file we're talking to. And so on the advanced tab, definitely want to have it to show all file name extensions because that is really important. There's a big difference between a JPEG and a PNG, especially when you're trying to open up, say, for example, in Java. And it's like, oh, it has the wrong extension. It's going to crash, burn, and die. And we don't want to see that happen. So that's a great thing to have for that. So finder preferences, you definitely want to have the show file name extensions. The other ones are totally up to you for that. Those are preference based, but we'll take care of that. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that. All the nice thing of this is once you make that uh, click on something, it's automatically active. You don't have to apply or close like you do on a Windows box. So that's really great right there. The next thing we want to talk about is the dock. The dock is right here, over here on mine. It's on the right hand side. It's where you keep all the applications. You can keep things that you're going to use regularly on a, or have access on a regular basis. And you can have them uh, stored in the dock. You can also right click on something uh, to go to the dock settings and you can go over here to your options and you can remove something from the dock if you wanted to. Um, obviously, I'm gonna keep, I keep the applications I use on a regular basis just locked there in the dock. Um, you can also make the dock grow bigger or smaller. If you go over here and you find this lovely little bar right here, you can make it get bigger or smaller by clicking on that bar area and you can see that it shrinks down to really tiny. I like it so it's a nice big size, but it's out of the way, it'll auto hide. It's a great way to do that. You can also access that via system preferences. So you command space. I do system preferences and that loads up the preferences right here. And I can go over here to my dock section and in my dock and menu bar, I can control all the application information for that so I can make it go to the bottom, the left, the right, whatever I want for that. And system preferences is where you do all of your basic system settings as well. And so that's where that's going to be happening with that. We have that available for us right there. 
We also have our um, screenshot tool. So screenshots are something we're going to be doing on a regular basis. And so to access screenshot in a Mac, you want to do Command, Shift, and the number 4. And as you can see right here, my cursor changes to a crosshair style one with the numbers indicating the XY position on the current screen. And when I click and drag, I then get how big that selection is that I'm making. And boom, it takes it. And then immediately I get a picture of it right here in the bottom corner. I can click on it. I can do annotations and a lovely good stuff. And that automatically saves it to the desktop by default. And I can just hit done when I'm done with it. Or I can just garbage this like I did with this one because it's just a boring piece of uh, blue. So take that out of there and we'll throw it away. And so screenshots, again, are Command Shift 4. The app switch uh, system is Command and Tab. And so Command Tab brings up the app switch icon, so I can go back and forth between these. If I do Command Shift Tab, I can go backwards through that. Very important, I know. And then I can switch between windows. So if I go over here to uh, Chrome, and I bring down some of my Chrome windows. So here's one Chrome window, and here's another Chrome window, and here's another Chrome window. And I can Command tilled between the different windows and you can see that I can switch between the different windows of that using command and tilled. And so those are some of the things we can do to actually go through and work with this. So application switching is command tab, window switching is command tilled. We do a, a screenshot with command shift 4. The quick launch is command space. Our preferences are where we do all of our settings and most likely they're access with command and comma. And Finder is the tool we use to navigate through the systems and folders inside our um, Windows or Mac OS system. And that's how we can uh, work with that. Hope this is a helpful video. Cheers and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.